For the last defender. Welcome back to Novice Explorer Radio, where after two months on a campsite, the explorers are back on the road and are eager to see more of Sardinia. How will they get on finding their feet after being static for so long and having all the facilities at their fingertips? Join us to see what we got up to in our first five days of freedom, roaming in the north of this beautiful island. Finding amazing beaches with infamous crystal clear seas and spectacular wild park ups. Hello and welcome back to our adventure post lockdown. Yeah, we're finally back on the road. Who thought this day was ever going to come? Yes, indeed. It is the morning after the first night wild camping again. That's it. Yesterday was filled with varied emotions, a real mix. Um, bit anxious, excited, um, nervousness. Remembering what we have to do. Yeah, so we did film yesterday. Um, you know, it's meant to be this big momentous occasion, but I think we're a bit preoccupied with remembering how to do what we've been doing, <laughs> how yeah. to live out of our van. And, it was a little bit strange. So now something I'm sure most of you are interested about, especially if you saw our last video where we arrived in Sardinia. How is Matilda? So it wasn't quite the Disney reunion we'd hoped for, uh, but we know from our previous experience that she's very cautious. There seemed to be a flicker of something in her memory about us, but she really wasn't sure. A day later, she was much more forthcoming and joined us for a walk down the beach. We forget she's been an independent lady for many years. She's here, she's happy, she's healthy, but she's given us the silent treatment. I am heartbroken and I told you that we shouldn't fall in love. I know, it's probably for the best. I'm glad she's here, she's well looked after, looks by the people that own the shack. She's very friendly with them, so it's all good really. And it is what it is. She was never ours anyway. I might get in the sea. I told Meg that I will never, ever not take the opportunity to do things now. Did you hear that, everyone? Let's hold him accountable for that sentence, please, in the future. And we'd like to take the opportunity to say hello to our growing community, new subscribers, old subscribers, and even our new members, too. Yes, hello from here. <laughs> We stayed in this familiar spot to hunker down, as stormy weather had been forecast. feel good to be back on the road again as much as the campsite was good for facilities it wasn't particularly beautiful and being back here it's amazing isn't it we're about to cook an omelette for breakfast we are going veggie for the foreseeable future one to reduce the cost of the food bill less meat two for health benefits and three because it also comes in a lot of plastic and four, we have to run the cool box a lot more. So today we're having a mushroom and cheese omelette. A bit of pecorino on top. No, it's parmesan actually, parmesan, yeah. That was an absolutely beautiful breakfast. Thank you, Maggie. The view certainly helps as well. However, we won't be seeing this view for much longer. I think it's time we probably move on. We've been here for a couple of days. We came back to see mainly if Matilda was here. And like we said, this was the first spot we visited when we hit Sardinia. So it was a good way to sort of ease ourselves back into living this way, really. So we're gonna go a little bit further afield later on today. So we're gonna go head a little bit more east and just see if we can find a nice spot there. 
generally it's been really good. Sorry the vlogging's probably been a bit higgledy-piggledy so far. We're not quite used to picking up the camera and uh, vlogging the old school way and the broken lens isn't helping. So we're going to try and remember to keep filming, filming inside the van after the live stream. A lot of you said you want to see more of that kind of stuff, which is cool. It is nice and sunny, lovely and warm. As you can see, there's no fleece on me today. But um, yeah, just a little bit breezy. So we're going to pack up the van a little bit. I've got to learn how to keep my area tidy. I can't remember how I used to live with all my tact, all my gear. It's all over the shop. But overall, we're feeling good, feeling confident. I'm excited to see Sardinia, really. We've seen two places here in the campsite. Um, so I'm just pumped for seeing stuff. I think we've come into a world that's very different after lockdown. I think we're also not petrified, but we're not going to be going into big towns and cities. And I don't know how long it's going to be until we go to a restaurant again. Um, so what we normally like have a part of our vlogs and stuff, I think that's going to change. So I've been looking for Sardinian recipes and I found a bunch of really nice ones. So that is what you've got to look forward to. So after a slight detour, we're going to go and check out La Pelosa Beach. It looks absolutely stunning. Are you ready? Let's roll. That beach is absolutely stunning and we were just discussing how glad we are that we decided to stay in Sardinia as opposed to rushing home because there's nothing, we wouldn't be doing anything back home anyway. The UK is still in lockdown but this is the first other beach we've seen and it's just absolutely amazing. It's blown the other one out of the water already, <laughs> which I didn't think was possible. Well worth staying in the campsite for two months. Yeah, it just, it just looks unreal, absolutely. So we've driven for about an hour from the last beach and we didn't film any of the drive because usually it's pretty uneventful. However, we did have quite an uh, unexpected roadblock. Slippery snakes. And unfortunately, they're just a few feet away from where we are going to camp for tonight. We're going to stay here for one night and we're just on the outskirts of Castel Sardo. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's going to be lovely in the sunset. Wait till later. And we've got our own private cove as well and quite a bit of space. I'm just hoping that we can stay here and all is well. Yeah, can't see no signs. It's on park for night and it's been recommended by Armando. So as long as you don't get eaten by snakes, we'll be all right. They were big boys. It might not come across on camera, but they were big. They're bigger than I've seen in the UK, little grass snakes oh, they were. Yeah. And a bit aggressive, but I think <laughs> they were fornicating. Who knows? <laughs> ventured down onto the rocky cove beneath our camp spot and admired the colourful view of the town. Another fantastic wild camp spot and the ever beautiful Sardinian sunset. Good morning, what a delightful night we had here watching the beautiful sunset. Unfortunately, that car parked just in the wrong spot. But as you saw, the sunset just behind the town here looked beautiful last night and it was so quiet here. The only thing that woke us up this morning was the heat of the sun, um, which is quite nice, just for nine o'clock. So we've had our breakfast and we're just gonna go on a little jaunt around and Meg's got some facts for you, I think. And explanations. And explanations, but yeah, it's been really nice here, really good. So behind me is Castel Sardo. It's a medieval town with a fortified castle on top called Castello de Doria, I think. 
we'll put it down below just in case. It's been voted one of Italy's most prettiest towns, but we won't be venturing into it because at the moment, with the pandemic and all that, we don't really feel comfortable in going into towns. So we're going to admire it from afar and then maybe if we have more time later on in the month, we'll go check it out. Even from this view, you can see how pretty and picturesque the town is. So I think this is day four on the road and thankfully spots like this make it really easy to ease back in. We felt really safe and secure last night. There's a few dog walkers about, but it was so quiet, so nice. Been walking around my eyes on stalks looking for snakes. Um, but there's loads of lizards, so I'm jumping every few seconds just in case. <laughs> he also um, wouldn't empty the pee jug last night, would you, in the grasses? Grasses. <laughs> I want to tell them that you wouldn't do it, because I, I want to show what I did it this demon morning. I am. Oh, it's getting very hot today. Um, so yeah, we're going to move on, unfortunately, but there's plenty more to see. And the next thing on our stop is an elephant rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be elephant rock. Roccia della Elefante is a piece of eroded rock just outside Castel Sardo. So that was the elephant rock, which it was pretty amazing really, by mm. the side of a road. Um, we drove past it twice <laughs> before we actually managed to find a spot to park. So now we're off to meet another British couple that are in their motorhome and have been stranded here just like us and we've been in contact with them pretty much throughout lockdown. So we're going to go and have a little social distancing meetup. <laughs> are you ready? I think so. Right then, let's rock and roll. Let's get up this little mound. After a very long yet beautiful diversion, we've been driving for getting on for two hours now, we have arrived and it is unbelievable. I think there's a chance we may have found our new favourite country within what, three days? <laughs> Am I being time, too hasty? Time will tell, yeah, it's early days yet. But as Meg said, it's not bad. Let's go and uh, let's go and take a look. This spot was astonishing. The colour of the ocean and the view from Flora's window took our breath away. It felt like we'd stepped into a travel magazine cover. This spot is exactly what van life dreams are made of. We were relaxed, at ease, and had had the perfect five days getting back into the swing of our mobile life. Living in the van whilst it stood still is a very different experience to moving every day. We celebrated our freedom with Prosecco on the beach with Joe and Karina. It's always great meeting people on the road, to share stories, travel tips and enjoy being in the moment. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.